Element Details. When we click on top of a movie in an element list, we might want to see more information. This is what we call an element details. For example, here when I click on top of this movie, I want to create a page that displays additional information like not only the title, but also maybe a description, a video, images, more information. There's two different options to do this. There's one option that would be creating a details page. So we can create a details page. In this details page, we can set up a, a template to indicate how the content has to be displayed. Now, there's another option and it would be directly linking the elements to the family of records. So let's say I already have several records created in my family of records, and I want to link these elements here to each one of their records. That would be the easiest option. But then we've got this option here that can allow us to design using all the, the features that we have in the pages. So we already know how to create a page. We already know how to create an element list, and we also know how to create templates. But we're going to learn a couple more steps in order to do this. So once we have a page and we have an element list, we know that we are using a template in order to display these contents here in the element list. But by clicking on each template, we want the user to be redirected to a details page. So basically we're allowing them to jump from this page here to another page. So we're going to learn how to create a details page. Within this details page, we need to have an element detail. This is a type of content we haven't seen yet. And a template. Okay, so we already know how to create pages. So step one and two, we, are, we should already know how to do. Even step three, because it's just creating another page. But within step three, we have to create an element detail. That would be the step four here. And within the element de detail, we have to add a template. This is something we've already done. We already know how to use templates. Basically, when we're creating a template, what we do is we map these different spaces with the different contents that we have in our family of records. For example, the name, the image, class, description, and any other fields we want to map. Something that we also know is that the styles can be applied to each one of these elements, depending on the type of element, we're gonna have different styles. For example, in an image, we can indicate the size. In a text, we can indicate the font. So this is what we're going to learn how to do now. I'm gonna enter the application. I'm going to structure, and I'm gonna open a page. I go here to pages, I open this page here. And now if I click on preview, we can see I have an element list, but I can't really click on anything. When I click on it, it doesn't really do much, okay? All I can do is see the, this little preview, but I can't drill down and see more information. So we're gonna change that. I'm gonna go back to the page, to the configuration of the element list, and here, I'm going to indicate that I want to display a form. This would be one of the options I was mentioning. So I'll just select this form here. I'll save and exit, and we're good to go. I'm going back here to the page, I'll update. And now when I click on top of one of these items, we can see it when I hover on top of the image or the text, it's showing me this hand um, pointer that allows me to know that I can click in order to see more information. So I'm gonna click here on this movie, and we're gonna see it's gonna directly take me to the record, okay? So this is taking me directly to the record. Although I might not wanna do this, maybe I, I wanna create a specific page, or maybe I could design a different record for in order to display the information to the user. So I could click here, I could go back to the element list. And once I'm here, I could select another record. For example, if I had more records created, I could select any of them. I only have one, so I'm just gonna leave it here. I'm gonna change the option to details page. This one's a little bit more tricky, but once we know the, how to follow these simple steps, it's gonna be quite easy to, to configure. So the first thing we need to do is click on details page, okay? And we have to create a new details page. So I'll click here, and here show me all the different pages I have created previously. I could select one or create a new one. Okay, since I don't have the button create here, we're gonna go back to pages, to this list of pages, okay? Remember, we can get here from, from structure, so I'm gonna do that from scratch. I'm going back to content management, pages, and here we can see all the different pages. And I'm gonna create a new page. I'm gonna call it details page. Well, I'm actually gonna call it demo details page. So this would be the first step. Now, 
once we have our page created, we have to give it a size. So how large do we want this page to be when someone clicks on it? Well, my previous page, let me see. It's actually responsive. So the width is 100%. Let's say we want this one to be responsive too. Or better yet, let's just start making it, let's make it not responsive initially and then I'll change it later. Okay, so I'm gonna say I want a size here of 1,240 pixels and I want the height to be of 800 pixels. Okay, and I'm gonna give it a red background and I'll save and exit. So this is my page, I'm going to general. I'm gonna say, okay, it's centered. I wanna publish it to make sure users can access. And that's about it, I'm gonna save and exit. Okay, so I've already created a new page. It's just a red page, it doesn't have anything. So I'm going back to my element list. I'm going here to the configuration. Now where it says details page, I'm gonna select that page I just created. So here we have it, demo details page. I'll save and exit. And I'm not gonna do anything else. For now, I just want to show you guys the result. So I'm gonna update the page. I'm gonna click on a movie. And here we can see this page, okay? Obviously, I haven't added any design to it. I've just added a red page so you guys can very obviously see what I've done. There we go, we've got one unique space. It's color red. It's got a, a specific size that I've indicated. Okay, now, what do we have to do in this page? We have to start adding an element detail and inside of the element detail, we're going to add a template. So we're going, back to the configuration of the element list. And we're going to enter from here directly to the page. Okay, so this is basically as a shortcut. I don't have to go back to pages. So now I'm in the page. I'm going to the layout view because for me it's a bit more comfortable to work here. And I'm gonna click on this space and I'm going to add an option that's called element details. Let me see, here it is. So, once I have an element detail selected, I'm gonna to have to create one. So I'll click here. I can create an existing one, but I'm gonna create one from, sorry, I could copy an existing one or create one from scratch. So I'm gonna click here to create one from scratch. And I'm gonna call it element details demo. There we go. Now, once I have my element details created, I need to add a template here. Okay, my template is going to be where I design the structure of where the data is going to be displayed. So here I'm going to map the data from my family of records to my template. So I'm going to click here. If I don't have a template already created, I could create a new one. Here I have one, and I'm actually going to create another one. So I'll click here on create. I'll call it demo template. And I'll call it number two. There we go. So I'm going to save. And here I'm gonna stop, start mapping all the information from my family of records. So first of all, let's say we want a movie. So here we have a size. Let's make it bigger because I want it to have the same size. There we go. And the height, we're gonna say we want it to be by content. I'm going to add the field. Well, here I'm gonna put movie. And here I'm gonna add a field. I'm gonna select the multimedia field that I know contains the Movie trailer, there you go. And now when we enter here, we have to design the size. We have to indicate the size. So I'm gonna say I want it to have 1,200 pixels and the height, let me say 300. Let's see what happens once I save and exit. Okay, for now we're just gonna add this. I'm gonna save and exit. We already have our template, template two. So here in our element detail, I want to select this template. And I'm gonna save and exit. We're just gonna stop here just to recap all of these steps. So I'm going back to the page. I'm going to update and I'm going to click on a movie. Now when I click on a movie, I can see the trailer here in this pop-up window. There's different options to configure this because right now I'm indicating that I want it to be displayed in a pop-up window, but I could say I want it to be appearing embedded here in the, in the same page. For now, I'm just gonna leave it as it is in a pop-up window, but I am going to adjust a few things. For example, 
the size for the movie is just a little bit too small. I can only see a, a small part of this. I would also like to put the title of the movie at the top. I would like this to be adjusted better to the to the size of this window. So I'm going to make all these little adjustments. Okay, so first of all, I'm going here to the to this page that I've created. And here we have different colors and sizes, borders. I'm going to take these borders off. I don't want them. Okay, I don't need a page background. And besides, I'm going to the layout view and I'm going to say I want this to be, well, this is the page. It's it's going to be, let's say it's going to be responsive. So I want it to be automatic according to resolution. Okay, and the, okay. And then we go here inside of this section and we're going to say we also want it to be by content. We don't want it to be fixed. And here in the name, I'm just going to call it details. Okay, I'm going to save and exit. And now let's see what's happened with these changes. So I'm going to close the window. I'm going to open it again. And there we can see since it's according to resolution, it's not showing me the screen as large as before. It's only showing the, the space that I've dedicated to the trailers. We've also got these spaces here. I'm going to adjust them so they don't appear. So the first thing I want to do is go to the element detail in here. And I'm going to say the template, it's also going to be responsive. So well, here we don't have any borders or anything. So I'm going to go here and say I want this to be automatic according to resolution. There we go. And now inside, we've got this movie trailer. I'm going to change the size a little bit because it was a bit too small and a bit too wide. So I'm going to say I want it to be 800 and here I'm going to say 350. Let's see if this looks better now. And I'm going to see the result. Okay, so I'm going to open it. Now we can see since it's responsive, we don't have all those funky lines and, and spaces there that we actually had the difference between this box, the page and the element detail. We don't have those those problems anymore because all of them are just grabbing 100% of the space that I've given this, this box here, this window. So I could change the box and it's always going to give me, uh, it's always going to adapt to that 100%. So let's go back and see this. So I'm in the element list of my main page. I enter here. And here I'm saying I want it to be displayed in a superimposed window. We can say we want it in the same page or in the same browser. We can have borders. I don't want these borders. So I'm not going to. Okay, I do want the position of the window to be centered. And I'm going to save. And we're going to see the difference. We're not going to have these borders anymore. Well, I might have to refresh. Let me save here too. Here. So I changed the borders. I'm going to save here. And now let's make sure it's working. There we go. So we don't have those borders anymore. Now, I would like this image to appear centered on the screen. I don't want it to be appearing here. And I still need to give it a little bit more space because it's chopping off part of the part of the video. So we're going back to the template. I'm going to click here. Now I want this to be centered. Let's make sure the style here is Align to the center. And besides, I'm going to go to the style in here. And I'm going to say I want this to be 400. Let's see if this is enough. Okay, I'm still missing a little bit more space. And it's still not uh, centered. Let me save here. Here we go. It says horizontal. I need this to be centered. Before I changed it up here. Okay, but I I made a mistake. I'm supposed to change it from in here. Okay. We're going to put 450. I'll save. Now we can preview. Okay, now it does look good. Okay, we've got it centered. 
we have enough space for the movie trailer to be displayed. So this is what I wanted. Now I want the movie title to appear here, here at the top and underneath I want the description. So I'm going to go back to the template. I'm going to click here. I'm going to create a new cell above and I'm going to call it title. If I save and exit, we're going to see it appears here at the top, title. Now inside of this space, I can drop in the title by clicking here on add fields, name. So here I have the name. I'm going to make sure that I like the style. I like it, for example, to be a bit larger, 14. I want it to be a grayish color. I want it to be this one here. Okay, for now this is enough. Let's take a look and see what what's the result. Okay, so here we have the title. Obviously, we don't want it to be here in the corner. We want some air around it. So I, I would like to put it here in the center. And I would like to, it to have some space at the top and at the bottom. So I'm going to click here. And I'm going to enter the style. OK, so it's normal. OK, I think here we do have to change the style at here to the center. And we need to indicate that we want some posit well some content or some space at the top and at the bottom. So I'm going to put 20 pixels here and 20 pixels here. Besides, I think the text was a little bit too small. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Maybe 16. I'm going to save and exit. Okay, now we should have a better result. Okay, now I like it better. I still don't like all these white spaces around here. Okay, so maybe I should make this box a little bit more narrow. Maybe I can make it the same size of the of the video I have here. So let me check what the size is. If I go back to this space, I can see it's 800 pixels, okay? And the height is 450. Okay, well, I'm going to do something. I'm going to go back to the um, to the main page configuration. Here we have the element list. And I'm going to enter the element detail configuration. And down here, we have the window height. And okay, I'm going to change this value here. I'm going to say I want it to be 800 pixels. And I'm going to save and exit. Let's see what happens now. Okay, apparently this hasn't worked. This is probably because the page is larger. So it's actually forcing the size to be bigger. So we have to be careful with this because even though here in the element list, I indicated that the size is 800. If I go to the page configuration over here, we have a minimum size of 1,240 pixels. So I'll have to change this. Let me change it to 800 and see what happens. Okay. Now, if I enter the template, I also have these minimum sizes. I'm gonna have to change them too. There we go. And we could even make them smaller, but for now, I'm just gonna leave it like this. Okay, let me update and see if this has worked. There we go. So that does the trick. Okay, I still have a bit of white space here and here. Maybe I would like to take this off or maybe I would like to add some margins so that I do have some space, but not, not so little. Maybe I would like a little bit more. So I'm gonna go back to the template and I'm gonna change the size here to 760. Okay, so here I have some margins. If I still don't have enough on one of these sides, I can always make small adjustments. For now, I'm just gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna add a description down here and an image. In order to do that, I'm gonna go back to the template. 
I'm going back to the to the section one. And even though I can continue adding things to the same section, I'm going to add a section below. So I'm going to click on, on create new section. I'll save and exit. Okay, I made a mistake. I added the section here at the top. So I'm going to delete it. Okay, to delete it, all I have to do is click here on the space, mark delete, and that's it. I'm going to create the section, but this time I'm going to create it below. So I'm going to say, I want to create a new section. I want it to be below and I'll save and exit. Okay, now I do have it below. In this space here, I want to add an image poster. There we go. So I'll click on add fields. And here I'm going to select the multimedia field where I have the images. And that would be this one here. Okay, for now, I'm just going to do this. Well, Yes, for now, let's just leave it like this. Now I've got the image for the poster, but here at the right, I want the description. So I'm gonna click here. Well, better yet, I'm just gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna put the description and the image on the same space. I'm gonna put image poster and description. So I have the image here. I can indicate the size. For example, I want it to be maybe 200 pixels wide or 100 pixels wide and 285 here. Well, let's try it like this. I'm also going to add a comments field here. Oh, sorry, a description field. So I'm going to look for the description. Here it is. I'll hit accept. And now I've got two fields in the same space. Let's see what happens. I'm going to save and exit. We're going to see the result. Okay, here I'm seeing the image and here I'm seeing the text. Here I don't have very much text and I have an image, but still it's way too close here to the borders and this text is too close to the image. I would like to change that. Let me check this other one because I know it has a lot of text. Let's see what happens. Okay, so even though it has a lot of text, I don't see enough of the text. I need to change this. So I need to have the content according to, well, I want the size, the height to be displayed according to the content. So I'm gonna go back to the template. I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna say maybe I want 800 pixels minimum here. I want by content. I don't need this here anymore. And I'm going to save and exit just to show you guys the result of what I just changed. Although we're gonna continue making some changes. So. Now you can see it's according to content. So if there's a lot of content, it's going to be displayed. It's all going to be displayed. Okay. I'm going to have to scroll down if there's a lot. If I go into this other movie where there's less content, I don't really have to scroll. Now here we're seeing that the text is appearing wrapped around the image. And the image, the space that we've added for this image is a little bit too large because we have some space here underneath. We can adjust this. And besides, we also want some space around the image. We want it to breathe a little bit. We don't want it to be so close to the borders. So we're going to change that. Besides, I'm going to change the style of this text. So I'm going to template. I'm going to click here. I'm going to the poster style. And here we want maybe less height. So I'm going to say 275. Let's see what happens now. Besides, I'm going to enter here the style. I'm going to say I want all the content to have 20 pixels of borders around it. Sorry, not of borders, just of space around it. Okay, so we're going to save and exit. And we're going to see the result. I'm going back to show you the result constantly so it's easier for us to follow. So I go back inside. I can see these spaces of 20 pixels. That's what I wanted. I still have this text too close to the image. I want to remove that. So we're going to the template. We're going to the description. Here we have, okay, the, I'm going to change the line spacing too. I'm going to change the size to 11 and the color. Okay. Now, I do want to make a separation between the image and the text. In order for me to do that, 
I'm going to go back to the image, to the poster. I'm going to say I want some space at the right and below. So here I'm going to say at the right, I want 20 pixels. And at the bottom, I want 10. I'll save and exit. Now let's see the if I have enough space here around the image. So I'll click here. I can see the space. Obviously, it's in this color black. I don't want it black. So I can remove that color. I already have all the margins here. OK, so I'm going back. And I'm going to make sure that this space doesn't appear in color black. So I'm going to add white here. Now we can continue to add more and more content. So if I wanted to add the price or I wanted to add any other bit of information that I have in the, in the record of these elements, I could do that. Obviously, there are still a few adjustments to make, but this looks quite good. We can see I've added some light spacing. I changed the size. I also changed the color of the text. So this starts to have a, a better look and feel. Obviously, we could start to invest a little bit more time until we get it perfect. But let's say this is good enough. It gives you a good idea of how to use this tool. And from now, you guys can already start creating these element details in these two different ways. So we have the page. This is what I've selected here. And we have the element, the well, the record of the element. Now, there's one last thing I would like to show you. So I'm going to close these tabs. And here, we're saying we want it in a superimposed window. But we could also add it to the same browser or in a full page. I'm going to mark the option same browser. And we're going to see what happens now. So I'm going to click on a movie. Now we can see the entire browser is modified with the content of the details of this, of this movie. We could add different elements to this page here. For example, we could add a back button to go back to the main page. So we can obviously change the design and adjust it for this new format. OK, we're not going to stop and do that. It's just quite easy. All we'd have to do is modify the page so it looks good on this new format. So for now, I'm just going to leave it as it was. And going back here, I'm going to say I want to display it in a superimposed window, 800 pixels, and I save and exit. OK. I'm going to go back. Now I click on a movie. Oops, I didn't save. One second. There we go. So this is the result. Exercise 404, part 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13.